Welcome to an introduction to home studio gear. Today, we'll talk about the nine things that you need to start your home studio. With these simple nine things, you can get started right away. Let's begin. The first thing you will need is a computer. This is the brain of the studio. It handles all the mixing of software and hardware and allows for your music to be recorded and played back seamlessly. It does not matter if you need a Mac or a PC, a desktop or a laptop. All that matters is that you are familiar with what you are working The second thing you'll need is an audio interface. This is where you plug in all of your inputs and can route out to your different speakers and monitors. You need to make sure that you have enough inputs for as many microphones, guitar signals, and keyboard signals that you plan on using. Nothing is worse than having four cables and only three in The third thing you'll need is a digital audio workstation, or DAW. This is where all the software is mixed and you can add effects onto your recordings. There are many different types of DAWs out there and many work with both Macs and PCs. Make sure you check before you buy. Obviously, no home studio is complete without a set of monitors. Make sure you grab a high quality pair that can play back your recordings with the best sound quality possible. If you have the money, Go ahead and buy multiple pairs of monitors to reference your mixes on different sounds. Not everyone will be listening to the same monitors in the same position that you have your. Obviously you need to record sound. This is where the microphones come in. There are many different types, but the main two are dynamic and condenser microphones. Make sure you grab the right one for what you're going to record. Studio headphones are also a great thing to have to listen to your music just as your average listener will listen to it. Studio headphones are also great for your singer to record into the microphone and be able to hear themselves. Cables connect all of your hardware to each other. For example, your microphone to your audio interface. You need to make sure they have plenty of cables because you never know when one will, will have All microphone stands are not created equal. You need to make sure that you have the right one to do the job. You don't want a microphone stand that can only reach two feet high if you're going to stand and sing. Pop filters will take your recordings from average to outstanding. They remove all the P's and B's. All of the blasts of air from the microphone, it absorbs before it can get to the microphone and be recorded into your DAW. Those are the basic tools needed for a home studio. If you ever want to learn more, don't be afraid to look on the internet. There are plenty of great resources for you to find.